Following our fundamentals video on masking operators, we now have all we need to know to begin a more substantial raw image editing task, which I hope will be helpful to help beginners understand the new masking capabilities and interface of Pixelmator Pro 3.6 Archipelago. That's what we're going to be doing in today's video. To demonstrate the masking interface, let's edit this raw image. The first thing I will be doing, because it does look a little underexposed, is to brighten the image with some general tone adjustments. Next, I'll lower the exposure of the sky to bring out the beautiful colors and details I saw that day. To do this, I'll add an adjustment layer. I'll rename the layer to sky. I'll add a mask. I'll use the gradient tool to drag a gradient onto the mask. There, the mask is created. Let's test it by lowering the brightness. While the adjustment does target the sky, it also is affecting the trees. Let's refine the mask in a way as to exclude the trees in the mask. Unfortunately, the trees include a lot of fine detail. Manual brushing is out of the question. Pixelmator Pro also does not have any object selection tool or luminosity masking tool to help in the process. The only tool that might be able to work is the color range tool. Let's try that. With the image layer selected, I'll press W on the keyboard to bring out the color selection panel. I'll use the color picker to choose a representative color. Surprisingly, the selection looks very good with just that one click. As you can see, it correctly includes fine detail in the leaves while excluding the small gaps in which the sky shows through. I'll adjust the slider to see if I can further improve the selection. I'll click Apply. Next, I'll add a mask. As you can see, a second mask is added to the adjustment layer, which is of course the new feature of 3.6, the ability to combine masks. As a reminder, in the previous version, you were limited to adding just one mask per layer. I'll rename the mask to Trees. Unfortunately, performing the adjustment is still darkening the trees. The reason, and you would know this if you watched my previous video, is the masks are combined via an add operation by default, when it should be subtract. By the way, if this is confusing, make sure to watch my video on mask operators, which gives the basic overview of how mask operators work. As we need to subtract the trees from the sky, I'll change the operator to subtract. As you can see, the trees are now correctly excluded from the final mask. By the way, you may have noticed that the trees mask is not exactly correct. While it is not in any way affecting the final output because of the way the subtract operator works, I'll try to correct it by using a paintbrush to remove the misselections. And this demonstrates another strength of combining masks, the ability to edit masks independently of each other. There, the mask is fixed. Next, I'll brighten the persons to make it really stand out. Once again, I'll create an adjustment layer. With the image layer selected, I'll use the new Hide Background feature, which is new in Pixelmator Pro 3.6. There, the background is removed, and it is very accurate. Now you might be wondering, why would I remove the background at all in this edit? I actually am not using this tool to remove the background. I'm using it to demonstrate one alternative usage of hide background 
and that is to quickly generate a mask of the subject, which is really all what hide background does. In fact, I'll drag the mask to the person's adjustment layer. There, we now have a mask for our persons. Next, I'll brighten the persons to make it stand out and add some sharpness as well. Finally, let's add some sharpness to the trees. I'll use a sharpened luminance effect. Next, I'll use the new masking toolbar to copy the tree's mask. I'll paste the mask inside the effects layer. I'll move the sliders to enhance the sharpness. There, the trees are looking nice and sharp. Finally, I'll use the Erase tool to remove an unwanted distraction. Here is the before and the after. So there you have it. That's how you edit a raw file with the new masking features of Pixelmator 3.6 Archipelago. While we did not use every feature, you can already see that Pixelmator's new masking makes raw editing much more elegant and intuitive. This is definitely another big release following a series of big releases we've come to regularly expect from the Pixelmator team. Let me know what your favorite new feature is in the latest Pixelmator Pro update. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.